Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our first guest tonight calls himself The Game. Please welcome WWF superstar Triple H. My life, my life is like complete now because I just met the Easter Bunny in the back. Yeah, yeah. I'd always wanted to meet him since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I just kept missing him. Yeah. Well, I don't know how you missed him. <laughs> yeah. so. I had no idea he was blind. <laughs> but... <laughs> now, uh, let's let's get right to it. Let's get right to the WrestleMania questions because I have so many. I will be there on Sunday. Tremendous. But, but who's gonna? You get in the ring. No, I won't be in the ring. Oh. No, <laughs> no I won't be in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> no. But uh, I just wonder who's going to win. Who's going to take the crown? You or uh, Jericho? Yeah. One, uh, one little problem, folks. I'm not asking you. <laughs> the original big boy is going to take it. Well, yeah. Well. <laughs> Sir, get your own show. <laughs> Uh, uh, now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> These people seem to think that's a dumb question. Yeah, I'm going to win. Actually, yeah. I'm winning this. Uh, yeah. There's no question about that. Yeah. Now, now, do you think it's going to be difficult for you? Do you think you're going to take them right in the uh, first round? How are you going to do it? Since it's only one round, it'll pretty much be right in the first round. Yeah, yeah. You can certainly see why I won't be in the uh, ring. Yeah. Now, now, explain your nickname. Your new nickname now is The Game. Yeah. The Game. I don't follow. I don't get it. I can see that. Yeah. 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 yeah I, <laughs> so wear that understand. right away with the rounds thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey, you know, if uh, you boys can't go 13, that's not my problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a joke there, too, but I won't go there. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, <laughs> Just so you There's know. more than one reason they call me the game. Yeah. By the way, we had Missy Hyatt here last night. Somehow she I'm missed sorry. you. <laughs> yeah. You're not she on did. that list. I'm one of the few she missed, I believe, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the game nickname came about. Uh, everybody in our business kind of talks about it. If, if you're really into the history of our business, you're a student of the game. You, you watch it, you study it to get better. And I was like the ultimate student of the game. Right. And uh, one time I just said it in a, a promo that you know, forget being a student of the game. I am the game, and it stuck. And I am that damn good. Yeah, that's that's, that's the other nice half of it. I am that wow. damn good. Wow. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the deal with uh, you and this Stephanie McMahon? You You were married. Yeah. Uh, she was carrying your child. Then she wasn't carrying your child. We've got a tumultuous relationship at best. Yeah. You know, you. Well, this is what happens when you. Uh, drug a girl and drive her unconscious through a drive-through <laughs> wedding chapel. You know, who would have guessed that two years later we'd be in such a state, you know? <laughs> I never saw it coming, that's the thing. I'm such a fool with love. But in the end, she seems to have duped you. She uh, led you to believe she was carrying your child, and in point of fact, she was not pregnant at all. Yeah, she led me to believe uh, I was going to be a dad, and she wasn't pregnant, but, you know, I got the last laugh because... On national TV, I dumped her and beat up her dad, and I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like every man's fantasy. If the relationship doesn't work out, not only do you get to dump her in front of everybody, yeah. then you get to beat up her old man, too. Yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing like beating up an old man, is there? <laughs> it's great. You ever try it? It's, it's not that bad, really. <laughs> yeah. Certainly not here on my own time, yes. There's, there's one who lives next door to me. I'll often beat him up. My kids and I will laugh <laughs> yeah. and laugh. Run by, kick him. And <laughs> we go back in the house, yeah. yeah. Now, now what, does, uh, what do you like to do for fun? You're not, you can't wrestle all the time. What no, do you like you, to do? I don't wrestle all the time. I, I'm really big into uh, training, weight training, which is kind of like a job. Fun? Woo! 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a job thing, but I actually uh, actually happen to enjoy it. I thought the weight it, so. training was going to take us back to the Stephanie McMahon thing. No, no. <laughs> that dead weight training. Uh, <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> Clean and jerk. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a jerk and clean, but can, can I say that? Is this late night? Well, I don't know if you can say it, but you did. Yeah. And, and that's the important thing. We, we can't go home again, Hunter. Right, yeah. Now, now so you, you wait train, but you, you've got to do something socially. You must go out, you must go to movies, you must read books. Now, now and then, movies, books. I mean, I, to be honest, our schedule, we're on the road like 220 yeah. days a year. We don't mm -hmm. have a lot of downtime, so uh, mm -hmm. a lot of times when I have a day off, I like to sleep. It's one of the few things yeah. that I, I don't get to do when I'm right. on the road. So, yeah, sleeping's yeah. a wonderful thing. It is. Now, uh, you had a pretty serious injury last year. How's that uh, coming along? Yeah, you know, I, your uh, bicep, your bicep separate? from the bone? No, I uh, tore my... <laughs> Good thing about this show, he does all his homework, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but it's still separated from the bone. Yeah, yeah. that's you, you were right in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah. It's wrong on so many others, but... Yeah, yeah in, uh, in May, I uh, tore my left quad, which is the muscle in the front of your leg. Oh, is that? And it, it, uh, yeah, it actually... Uh, I tore so the tendon. So would it be fair to say you had a bit of a boo-boo? A, a bit of a boo-boo, yeah, yeah, that uh, they had to go in and uh, reattach, drill some holes in my kneecap and fish some sutures through there to hold my leg yeah. back on. And um, it was kind of touch and go of whether I was actually going to be able to come back to wrestling or right. not. Right. And uh, eight months later, I, uh, I made the comeback. I spent eight months. I moved down to Birmingham, Alabama, where I had my surgery, and I rehabbed every day for like 10 hours a day, right. seven days a week. and. Just uh, wasn't going to take no for an and answer. You're 100% now. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when you come back from an injury uh, like that, it, you're never 100%, because you never, I mean, you can never be what was original. Right. But uh, you get it fixed, and then you try to get as close to 100% as you can. And mm -hmm. it feels great. I've got no pain in it, uh, you know, uh, on a regular basis, other than the fact that uh, Chris Jericho hit me in the leg with a sledgehammer the other night. It's been great. But yeah, uh, yeah. I'm about to fix that Sunday. Well, so. I'm pretty sure you are. I think you're yeah. gonna. I think you're gonna kill this guy. Yeah. Uh, now, as a matter of fact, I I think you know ahead of time that you're gonna kill uh, this guy. I don't know about that. I'm not psychic or anything well, like that. But I've got a good feeling about it. Let's okay, just say, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, what what do you think you'd be doing if you weren't a wrestler? What do you think? God. I, Maybe a, maybe a what? talk show. I yeah, yeah. I could see myself sitting there. Oh, I could see you sitting there. I could see you sitting right on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. puddle in the chair. But uh, well, I don't what, know. What you know, you really like to do. I think it would have to be something in the, in the entertainment industry. I like mm. to entertaining is uh, just being in front of people and um, you know being able to put on a show is. I think that's what it's all about. And. Yeah. Uh, you know, so if it wasn't that, it would be some type of acting, maybe, or I don't know, maybe I'd be a rock star or something, you know. Yeah. I yeah. like to make movies, produce my own movies, get into yeah. television, you know, make television shows. Well, you know, you know what I like? All you, of it. Uh, yeah. It's obvious to me you've put a lot of thought on this. <laughs> yeah. Basically, luckily, I've got a good job, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. You're doing very, very well, and yeah. you probably will continue to. And I will be there on Sunday night, and uh, I look forward to seeing you trash this if, guy. Uh, yeah, if, if Jericho uh, gets in a funny business, you mind running in? Oh, I'm there. Yeah, because I'm there. I heard. I heard that he was on the show the other night, and he gave you a little bit of lip. So I thought yeah, he maybe gave me a bit of lip, you might yeah. want to get. He a little... was on the show the other night, and I believe I used the same phrase with him I used with you. I said, "I hope you trash." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's you always gotta, you got a zig, you got a zag. It's you know all when, you, when a guy is bigger than you, it's always best to ride the fence. That's right. You that's know what, what I'm I saying? Yeah, exactly don't lean one way or the other. Sure, it hurts, fence. but that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I want to thank you, Triple H, and uh, you. we look forward to seeing you again, and we look forward to this match on Sunday night with bated breath. Take care of yourself. Thank you. online concert series at junos.simpatico.ca.